ericmwadithmother.com, let's take a look at the chart for Discovery Communications at the beginning of 2018, where we see that as of November 2017, there has been a recovery of the lows of about 16 to the current highs here of about 24. Now, it looks like a nice recovery. Maybe there's more upside, maybe not. Now, what I want to discuss here is the idea of people always spending too much time on the daily and hourly charts. The problem with always looking at those time frames is you miss out on the big picture. And sometimes the big picture is more clearer. For example, if we take a look at the weekly chart, and what we have here is a two-year weekly chart. And what I want to show you is some reasons why it is stalling around this level, here around the 24 price level. First thing is if you take a look at the weekly closing high right there, and the weekly closing high right there and if you draw a line connecting those two points it should be something like that you can see that it comes and makes contact with the recent weekly closing high which means that that is also why it is stalling in other words if you pull back take a little bit of a bigger view you see that this is where it closed and since then it's been stalling which means if the stock is to do well the first order of business is it needs to move above this declining topside price channel line so that's one of its challenges now the other challenge is to figure out where it broke down and we can see that coinciding with coming off the highs there this is where the RSI breaks down What we can do is take that information, the breakpoint, and draw our uniformity resistance line. And if you want to understand this principle, take a look. I'm going to include a link in the description of the video. But what we see here is uniform activity to the line and back below it. In other words, it was rejected with uniform activity there, which is another reason why that was the recent closing high. So, again, the only way this stock can move higher is it needs to move above this uniformity resistance line. There is also another view, which is a line connecting the previous RSI lows line. If we extend this line, should look something like that. We can see that the break of that line corresponds with this weekly drop and we haven't been back to those levels since rejection on the same line on a back test for those for that weekly closing high and recently we went above the line back below it in other words we were rejected with uniform activity which is also another reason third reason why that was the weekly closing high so again we see that the only way this stock can move higher is by taking a look at the weekly chart where we see that it needs to clear that line otherwise failure to move above that line failure to move above this price channel does seem to indicate that the next major swing trade is going to have to be lower now if we move even further out and take a look at the monthly you'll see some interesting points of consideration. So let's take a look at the all data monthly. Now on this monthly chart, the first thing we're going to observe is there seems to be a topside resistance line on the monthly RSI. So this is why it is stalling around current levels. And there is another view, which is, see this breakout here, which was successful in taking the stock higher what we can do is extend that level and you'll see that the stock has used this same level for support here and here 
and there in 2016 unfortunately we come back and break below it there and now that same line has become resistance over the last two months so the stock has a lot of challenges and we can see that unless it can move above all these resistance levels we can see again from the monthly point of view that what this is suggesting is that the next major trend continues to be down now there's something else not directly related to the stock but related to the general market itself and this is the comparison of what the stock has been doing over the last couple of years now if we compare this with the S&P 500 in terms of price performance so let me add the S&P 500 price and now we can see that the black line represents S&P 500 generally speaking the stock tends to move in the same direction as the general market this is just how it has been responding in fact this is true for pretty much all the stocks they tend to move with the general market right most of the time they tend to trend with the general market and even here recently we start recovering the market continues higher what's the point is here's my point S&P 500 is trading at an all-time high it's in the middle of a major major bull market run while this was taking shape this stock has struggled the risk here is that if the S&P 500 starts pulling back significantly this is gonna put additional downside pressure and ultimately more than likely if the market corrects significantly this stock is going to be one of the worst performing stocks and I would suspect that it's gonna break through the recent lows of 2016 so the only hope or the best hope for this stock to recover is for the general market to continue moving higher but that's also a big ask because the general market has had a fantastic two years here from 2016 to the current highs in early 2017 S&P 500 has been on fire and if the S&P 500 cracks the indication is that it's gonna push all stocks lower we've already established that this stock also follows the market in terms of trend if the SPX cracks discovery cracks and ultimately it goes on to record substantially lower price levels so that's the risk the best way to summarize this is if I was looking to go along this name given all the resistance levels we've seen is the first thing I would do is set an alert on the weekly chart if the stock can clear the recent weekly closing high from late 2016 and the price to watch there is 23.73 if it can jump above that price then it would be taking out most if not all of the resistance levels that we discussed here so if I was thinking to go along I would wait and insist that the stock break out first and foremost above the recent weekly closing high at 23.73 Eric Moad with Moade.com as always good luck peace and blessings E C S I am out for now <laughs> yeah Mwah.